Mega Salamence. Honestly, I thought Mega Salamence didn't really need a Mega Evolution, especially with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coming out. I was sure that Flygon would have gotten one due to its massive popularity, but no, we got Mega Salamence. How does it work? Is it great? Well, it got sent straight to Uber, so I'm pretty sure that's a context clue of, yeah, this thing is probably one of the most overpowered Megas thus far. Now, for the basis Pokemon, you know, your regular Salamence, you really want an Intimidate Salamence, because when you send it out, it'll lower their attack, and then they'll kind of re-question themselves whether or not they want to switch out, thus giving you a free Dragon Dance, which we'll get to in a little bit. Alright, first the stats. The EVs I put for it, 196 HP, 168 defense, and 144 special defense. When it Mega Evolved, it got a lot more bulkier compared to its, you know, its little baby Salamence glass cannon form, so I figured just give it a lot of HP, give it a lot of defense, and everything else should just follow through well all nicely. I gave it an Adamant. Now normally I would go Jolly on this because I care about speed more than I do attack, but because of its bulk, I had full confidence that yes, this is going to be a truck just going in and bashing everyone's skulls and making a mess and just sweeping everyone. And obviously to Mega Evolve you need Salamonite, Salamonite, whatever the Mega Stone is called, you need that for your Salamence. Now for the moves. Dragon Dance. This would not be a truck without proper speed and attack. So Dragon Dance buffs your attack and speed. Like I said before, if you're adamant, you can come in on a physical attacker and then he'll be like, I don't, I don't think I can take this out. So then they'll switch and rethink themselves, but by then you already have maybe one or two Dragon Dances, and then the destruction can commence. Now for this next move, Double Edge or Return. Personally, I prefer Double Edge because, well, it leads on to another move, but Double Edge is really, really strong. Return is also a good choice if, you know, you treat your Salamence good and all that awesome stuff and it's all happy and then you'll get a lot of damage off of return but double edges for me earthquake this covers most of Salamence's weaknesses and the final move is roost yes I do not have a dragon type move on the Salamence I don't have a dragon move because I don't really trust it that often and considering you know the fairy types and all the other stuff double edge on top of Roost, the thrill of, you know, attacking and one-shotting something and then healing up, it's just so exhilarating. It is magnificent. And this battle will show you now. So, this is in the middle of the battle. Uh, most of my po well, two got KO'd. One is on, like, Focus Sash. So, he sends out his Feral Thorn. He uses Protect. I already lowered his attack, so I don't have anything to worry about at this point. And then he'll switch out because he figured, oh no, he's going to go for Dragon Claw. So he sends out his Sylveon. But no, I'm just going to go for another Dragon Dance. And already, the game's over. Mega Salamence shows up. And then Earthquake knocks Baby Girl out of the park. And then he sends out Conk Elder. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to use Roost. Taking away my flying, you know, my flying type. And only having Dragon. Because of its bulk, it did not get one-shotted like it normally would. That crit was unnecessary, by the way. Because Double had just wrecked Conk Elder, like, completely. Then he sends out Tyranitar, I'm like, okay, I'll use Roost, taking away my flying type again, and he'll use Stone Edge. Had I not done that, Salamence would have got probably one-shotted. So that's why, I, that's another reason to have Roost on. Then he starts using Crunch because he figures, oh, okay, yeah, it's not going to work out. He can't depend on the crit forever, so. And I'll just keep Roosting, and he'll keep it trying. I think he's trying to go for the, the defense debuff off Crunch. But sadly, no, Earthquake one-shots it. Look at that. And then he has his last poke. Oh, well, he has Mega Slowbro next. And that just gets one-shotted because, I mean, regardless of how much defense and how much health it had, Mega Salamence is pretty, pretty, you know, attack heavy. And then finally, I double edge the Pharaoh Thorn. Salamence died like a man. Me winning the match. And that's Mega Salamence. I, I appreciate its design, I appreciate its stats and what it can do. I understand how capable it is as a Mega Evolution, and it's very, very well justified, I think. What, but what do you guys think? Do you think that Mega Salamence needed a ev Mega Evolution? Do you like its design? Do you have any other sets aside from the one I gave? Leave your comments and suggestions below. I'm Oblivion Guy, and I'll catch you guys later.